Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDV or Chris and today we're going to do a head shave with the soap we use for the face which was uh, Talbot Shaving Refraction. Uh, if you want to know more about that soap go back and check the face shaving video because I don't want to repeat a lot of the same content. I don't know why I'm slapping water on my, on my uh, face because we've already shaved that. Now we're going to shave the dome. Uh, anyway, good soap, the Talbot Shaving Winter's R Refraction. Very, very good indeed. Nice, pleasant scent. And again, you can find out more about that uh, from the face shaving video. Okay, we're going to load up here now with a little bit of Razor Rock. Uh, this is Lime Pre-Shave. And I just sort of rub it on and sort of liberally. And uh, once we have it rubbed in, we will, uh, you can see how it's starting to, see how it's starting to form to the shape of my head there, which is pretty cool. That's exactly what I would like it to do. It gets slippery though. I tell you, these pre-shaves, once you put them on, they get quite, make your hands quite slippery. So you got to make sure you have a, a cloth or a towel or something like that close by because... They definitely make things slippery. All right, let's wipe this off. I, by the way, happen to have a timeless uh, cloth here that I typically use. Okay, we're using the Yaki um, Synthetic Barber Pole. And we'll see how we do here with the Talbot Shaving Winter's Refraction. Had a really good uh, shave on my face with this, so I expect uh, it to be superb on the dome uh, as well with no problems whatsoever. All right, we can use some water. Get a little water there. There we go. We don't need it in our eyes though. Soap in the eyes is no fun when it runs down there because you added too much water. <laughs> it looks like we're getting where we need to be. Quite quickly here. Uh, by the way, the razor is Defender. And I'll talk a little bit about Defender because there's some confusion by people who watch uh, these videos. They're like, oh, you said you didn't like the vent. Well, you didn't like the Defender. Uh, let me, allow me to explain. The Defender has several different types of blades. Now, the blade that I'm using here is older because I ordered several packs way back. And this one is the most aggressive. It is not a daily driver for my head. If I shave with my this uh, on my head every day, when I have, you know, just 24 hours or less of growth every day, um, it can be a little rough. But if it's, you know, once or twice a week, or I have, say, a little bit more, say, I got 30 hours or something uh, rather than 24, it works quite well. And so... I do like the Defender, and so I use it situationally. Now, that said, I have never tried the Defender's um, other blades. So they have blades that aren't as aggressive as this, and, and uh, they might work really good for me for a daily driver. Typically, my daily driving razor is the Harry's because it's pretty mild. It just, you know, it, it's uh, forgiving and works well on my dome here. And so I wanted to make sure that everybody understood that I like both razors. Um, and I've never tried the other types of blade from Defender. So they might have a blade that would be a daily, you know, driver for me. This one, their most aggressive is not, but they, they probably have one that would work just fine. I just never got around to trying it and, and perhaps I will at some point. Um, but this one I think works really well for me situationally. Like, like I said, you have a little more growth or let's say you skip a day. I don't skip a lot of days typically, but let's say it goes into the weekend and I have like, you know, six or eight more hours growth or something and you have a little more you're shaving. This one would be the one I would choose because the design of the razor is such that it doesn't get as clogged as easily as the Harry's and so on. And so 
that's where the Defender really shines. The blades are set apart, set apart, I should say. Sorry for the lack of a clear <laughs> enunciation there, but the blades are set apart. So if you have multiple days growth with the Harry's, it can be a little rough because it can clog and you know, you're constantly having to deal with it. But with this one, typically it does pretty well um, and doesn't typically clog. Now, if you have really thick soap on your on your head, sometimes that can clog any razor. So you have to be cognizant of that. But generally, this one does a really good job. And see, that was just one pass, and that feels really good. We're going to go the other way, though, just to get a nice BBS head shave. Because we got a fine soap here to use, and we may as well just go ahead and use it. All right. I don't know how I feel about this Yaki knot. To me, I think they, I, don't get me wrong, I like these offerings, but this one feels a little bit, I guess I'm comparing it to my West Coast knots. Um, and they may be the same types of knot, but this one just feels a little bit shorter and not quite as dense as my West Coast synthetics and some of my other ones. I mean, it's doing a job, don't get me wrong, but... I don't know if I'm in love with it, is what I'm trying to say here. But it is doing its work. So, you know, it will definitely do what it needs to do. But once you get used to those bigger knots, these some of these ones that aren't quite, this is 24 millimeter, but it doesn't feel 24 millimeter to me. It feels almost like an old 22. And I realize it probably really is 24, but it just doesn't, it lacks density or something. I'm not exactly sure, but there's something sort of missing where it makes it where it's just not a home run. But it's a good brush. And it will do what it needs to do. Uh, one of the things that Chris Madden mentioned was where these colors are, you can feel like you can feel the layers there. It's not perfectly smooth. I didn't notice that until he mentioned it, but now that he has mentioned it, I can't stop noticing it. So thanks, Chris. <laughs> I probably should have tried to use the leaf today. That would have been good. Because I'm all healed up from that ridiculous Rockwell Model T head shave, so leaf would have been a good choice today. Okay, we got plenty. Of, we got more than enough soap here. I just wanted to use it because it was my brush was already loaded up and I had it sitting in the bowl. And so I said, let's just use the Winter's Refraction. It's a really good soap, really good soap maker. So might as well just use it. Okay, wipe my hands off here and take care of our final pass today. I hope everyone is having a Fantastic weekend. I'm just now starting to get better from this ridiculous cold and cough. The week was rough. I was sick the whole doggone week. I didn't feel like doing anything. Coughing, coughing, coughing. I am sore from coughing. Let me tell you, when you're not used to that explosive coughing and you do it for a while, it will make you sore. <laughs> and so I am pretty sore from coughing. But I'm glad I'm not coughing at the moment. I'll take it. Small victory. I'll take it. Uh, I hope your week was fantastic. Or whenever you're watching this. I hope your weekend's going to be fantastic as well. We wish the best for everyone. We thank everyone for joining us. And uh, I got to give a shout out to Matteo. I believe from Italy. Matteo, is that right? Correct me below if I'm wrong. He is always one of the first ones to see my video. He's a big time head shaver. And uh, he's really into head shaving. And actually he showed me a video he made the other day of uh, head shaving. And so maybe he'll start making more videos at some point. He didn't do any talking, um, but he did a nice head shaving video. And he was just zipping it along, you know, he was just like really moving. And so, 
He did a very nice job. So Mateo, thanks very much for watching and thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. Really do. That is not lip service, people. You don't know what it means to me. Um, all the folks who have come back or and all the new people and just everybody. It's been fun. It's been really fun interacting with the people in the comments. Uh, it's really the first time I've... I may have done it when I first started years ago. And keep in mind, this channel is not, you know, the, my first channel. So it says 2016, but I think I've... Or I know I first started making videos in 2013 or 2014. So the Eyelather channel, the old channel, is from, you know, that period. Um, but anyway... I might have, I, might, I used to answer comments maybe in the beginning and then I quit. It got really bad and trolly and annoying and almost impossible to keep up with. Uh, but now they have better methods of actually keeping up with the comments than they used to years ago. And so it's not too bad now. And I've, I've been enjoying, you know, going back and forth with people. And so Mateo is up there all the time and Fernando and... Three Stooges, that's not my name. I mean, there's a ton, and I can't obviously name them all, but they're usually among the first. Lee, from, I believe he said he was in Taiwan, or somewhere like that. So sorry if I got that wrong, Lee. Lots of people. Randall's a head shaver. Remember Randall? Uh, not everybody watches the head shaving videos. I don't know why. Shaving is shaving, and the head shaving, arguably more difficult. But some people just don't like carts at all. But carts just work beautifully on my head as compared to um, safety razors. Safety razors just don't work as well for me. I have to try twice as hard to not get as good a shave. And what's the point of that? On my face, they're beautiful. But on the dome, they just don't work as well for me. Other people do really well with them, but it's not me. Anyway. Beautiful head shave, beautiful head shave. Uh, the cream, or the soap, I should say. Uh, Talbot Shaving Winner's Refraction, available at West Coast Shaving. Very, very good, nice, pleasant. I'm calling it a woodsy type scent, but it's not earthy. I wanna make that clear. It's a, it's a fresh, sorta of woody-ish scent to me. The Defender with the most aggressive uh, blade worked very well for me today. The Yaki 24 millimeter, I'm not in love with it. I might give it away. At some point. I'm not in love with it. It doesn't feel as good as my West Coast Shaving Synthetic Knots, but it's still a good brush. It did the job very well. Um, I'm not going to show the pose today, but when I rinse, I'm going to use the uh, Captain's Choice Nora Easter after, of course, hitting it with, a, with the magic made by witches. Thanks, everyone, for joining us once again. I really do appreciate it. I can't thank you enough. I want you to remember until next time, it's your shave. Do it your way and God bless.